Do you know what I'm very excited about today? Because, well, number one, we get to go filming. But number two, going filming with a good mate of mine, Cameron Goff from Can't Fault It 4x4. Nice. If you've been following for a while, you know Cameron's actually worked with us at our expo stand. Yeah. Uh, but also quite famous for the cook-ups. Yeah. Where are we now? Uh, we're down at Camden Hill Butcher Shop, my, my favourite go-to butcher. Uh, we're going to head in there. We've got a couple of goodies in the car, including a smoker and a pizza oven. Um, so we're going to do a bit of a cook-up later today. Okay yeah, guys, well we're down here at Cannon Hill Butcher Shop and we're here with Mike. Now he's my go-to man for all the meat uh, that I cook up on my uh, Instagram. So Mike, uh, what are your recommendations? Yeah. Mate, well what, we're going camping, so what about those steak sandwiches that you did? Done. We'll grab a Just few of those steaks. Like... Now I've also uh, bringing along my smoker, so I'm going to do a bit of a longer cook as well. Okay. So I'm also thinking that we might grab a lamb. Do a bit of a shoulder lamp. Yeah, we'll go with yeah. the shoulder lamp. Bone in. Yeah, let's do Pull that. Pull apart. Yeah. No, that sounds awesome. Cool. All good fun, mate. Thanks very much, mate. Cam, take care. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. I'm excited. All right, all right. Let's plug in the fridge. We'll go uh, hook up some vans and, uh, and head north, mate. Now, Cameron's going to be taking a feather top 18 foot six, perfect for uh, his car, which is a Mitsubishi Pajero Sport. But he doesn't have a brake controller. This is pretty commonplace uh, these days. The beauty is you don't have to have one installed in your car anymore. This has been around for a little while. It's called an elect brakes unit. It's a Bluetooth controller. All we're going to do is mount this on the side of the chassis. But what this will allow Cameron to do is actually control the brakes on the vehicle via a little Bluetooth remote control. So to activate the brake controller, you can either use the Bluetooth controller that it comes with, or like I have, download the app and use a brake controller this way here. To activate, you simply just need to turn your car on, make sure you have your lights on, and voila, by pressing the brake, you can see that it's activated. We're heading up the Conondale, as we mentioned. Um, now, it's another little hip camp site up there. I'm towing with me Hilltop Hotham, which is a 21-foot club lounge. Cameron is towing the 18-foot-6 feather top behind his Pajero Sport. When we get up here, we're also going to catch up with some friends of ours who, not only friends, but actually customers that have been customers for about five years. They are one of the first customers we ever had with Hilltop. So, it's going to be great to catch up with them because they've been on the road um, pretty well constantly for the last Know, 12, 18 months, something like that. Um, so I want to get a bit of a feedback on what their thoughts are around the hilltop. What are we going to do first? We're going to get the smoker out, because we've got to throw some dinner on. Yep. Let that run through the afternoon. But we're going to get the pizza oven out, and we're going to crack on with some steak sandwiches, I reckon. I've now been tasked with uh, organising dinner and lunch. So the first thing that we're actually going to get sorted is the lamb that we bought here. Um, we're going to be using some of the Lane's barbecue rub, uh, the Sunday roast here. We also bought ourselves a few uh, steaks here. Uh, we're going to be using the pizza oven to actually cook up a few steak sandwiches for everybody here at camp. Forget about dinner. <laughs> Righto, lamb is on the smoker, so let's get stuck into these damn steak burgers because everyone out here is bloody hungry. First things first, we're going to make ourselves a sauce here. It's going to be mayonnaise, uh, Dijon mustard, a little bit of garlic, and some Worcestershire sauce. Sauce. Worcestershire sauce. We're then going to prep some onions because we're going to grill those up as well. That is about it. Let's get into it. Hey! This here is a steak supreme by Lane's Barbecue. It is by far probably one of my favourite uh, rubs to go on a steak. Oh, you guys are going to love this shit. Yeah. 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 Alright, so we've hit temp, which is about 125. We're going to pull these out now, uh, and they're going to continue cooking over to probably about 130, which is going to be a perfect medium rare. We're just going to let these rest for about uh, 10 or so minutes. While they're resting, we're going to throw our onions on. All right, so we've just had these resting for 10 to 15 minutes. Let's cut into them and see how we did. All right, first thing, sauce. Awesome. A little bit of green. So we're going to do a steak. Cheese on top. Followed up by a bit of fried onion. And then for the crunch, slam that shut. Ready? A pizza I reckon oven. I'm going to get a pizza oven. Mm. So everybody, this is Mim and Simon. They've actually been um, part of the Setup Camp family for about 
five years now. Five years, yeah. So yeah. you originally um, came to know us through the Opus group. Yep. Um, yes. And you've then upgraded your Opus and now into a hilltop. Yeah, didn't we sold up and live in our van full time. So, yeah, we did down Vicky, South Australia, back up through the centre. Uh, up across to, the Savannah Way. Yeah, across the Savannah Way, Cape. up to Cape in it. Um, and then, yeah, done the Bloomfield track in it, done the Udna Data track in it. Um, yeah, we've that was gold all done the way. a lot of Ks. What made you choose Hilltop? The Hilltop were kind of one of the few that would design and give you sort of what you wanted to. They were a bit easier to deal with in that way. So yeah, cool. let's talk about what you guys had done. I mean, probably the biggest thing was the suspension. Yes. Array. So what do you guys go with? Yeah, we had the Cruise Master ATX. So that is the top of the range. That was my must. Yeah. And I think probably paid a large part in why it travelled so well across all those roads as well, I reckon. It yeah, was, okay. um, yeah. We didn't really do too much changes on the inside, did we? It was predominantly around the ability to get off grid and off road. Straight yeah, it was mainly for campus. off road. So the suspension was very important. And obviously we got a bit extra in the electrical side, like we needed to, you know, to go more days without plugging in. So yeah, yeah 600 solar, 600 amp hours of batteries. Lithiums, yep. Uh, lithiums, yep. And yeah, we've had no dramas. We can run everything off it yep. on the um, inverter. Do you run the aircon off yep. there? You do? Can yes. run the aircon as well. Cool. Um, and obviously just to be mindful of weather and charging it back up when you're off grid. But of yeah, we, we have the ability to run everything basically off the inverter. So. Okay. Would you reckon buying a hilltop? Oh, highly recommend. Yeah, definitely. We've had no dramas. Like all that trip we've done, we pull up, we're not fixing anything. Lots of other people around us of, you know, building stuff and fixing stuff and we, we just We had feedback up. from people saying, I can't believe nothing went wrong when you did the Cape. They said, I've spoken to so many people coming back and everyone I've spoken to, something's fallen apart inside the van. <laughs> That's unconvincing. <laughs> All right, so just a quick recap here. We threw this in at 12 o'clock. Uh, it's now currently 7 o'clock. Yep. I reckon we've done all right. All right, this is sensational. I'm never going camping without you bringing all of these things. <laughs> this is just camping from now on. Let's get stuck into it. I'm happy with that. Right. Good morning, welcome to day two. Uh, you'll notice very clearly, Cameron is not here. He had to leave fairly early this morning, which of course means I have to do the cooking, which is, uh, I don't have quite the flair, so I'm doing bread and butter. No, don't, there's bacon eggs on here. This is the um, Explorer, um, Explorer 12. Um, this, by the way, is what we're giving away. If you go follow Cameron Goff's uh, page and get him, so that's on Instagram, I'll put the link in here. Um, if When he gets to 15,000, he's gonna give this big giveaway. Jump online, you'll see what he's giving away. But if you follow them and you also subscribe to our YouTube channel. You're going to go in the drawer to win this. The skillet is on here and also a big heavy duty uh, Dutch oven. You're going to get that as well. Um, so all really heavy duty gear. These things are awesome. Absolutely awesome. Anyway, we're doing some, uh, some cook up this morning for brekkie. And we'll uh, show you a little bit around the property once we're there. You know, one of the things I love most about this business is I get to discover places like this. Uh, we use Hip Camp a lot when we go filming, um, and we've, this is another gem that we found. Actually, Mim and Simon put us onto this place, so it's called River Run. It's in Conondale. Now, if you haven't been to Conondale, you're basically coming up um, through Biwa and come through. If you are coming that way, it may take you um, down Postman's Track. Don't go there if you're bringing a van. It's apparently very steep. Anyway, this place is, like every place we go to, just stunning. A real dream to film in some of these locations. This is a private block of land, it's about 40 acres. Uh, so Rick and Jenna own this property. Um, and their ethos is really great. Whilst it's got plenty of space here for uh, camping, they don't really allow too many people on here. So you feel um, really still quite isolated, uh, even though you're really not that far from anything. We're back onto the Merry River. It's literally running just down through there, uh, which is awesome. And they've got cattle around the place, so a great place to, to come in and disconnect. Should mention, this place has no amenities. So um, coming along, just make sure you're completely self-sufficient on here. Whatever you take, whatever you bring, rather take with you on the way out. Leave the place better than you found it.
This is our main road in to the site. Once you get in, completely opens up into the campgrounds. The uh, owners live up on top of the hill behind here and your campgrounds are down the bottom. Uh, look, we paid around about just under $100 for the two nights for the three vans that were here. Uh, so priced quite reasonably in terms of the, the amount of space that we took up as well. Peak hour on the farm. Let's talk about the vans we bought for this trip. Now, you saw Mim and Simon's Hilltop van when we had a bit of a chat to them yesterday. Uh, that is a 19 foot six rear door van, but that's been customized to the hilt so they can travel basically continuously in that in any conditions they need to go. We also bought the 18 foot six feather top. This is the um, entry level into the dual axle for Hilltop. Hilltop's are completely Australian made, and as you've heard, fully customizable. This van is pretty well stock standard save for a few little things. We move up from the 17 foot six into the 18 foot six, we go from single to dual axle. Uh, it comes standard with a washing machine at that point in time, but they're both mid door. The primary difference between a 17 foot six and an 18 foot six hilltop is number one, the extra axle. Um, but as a result of it being slightly longer and the axle positioning further back on the chassis, you have a higher ball weight. So whilst it's only slightly bigger than the van, the overall weight doesn't change, the ball weight on the van does become an issue for some people, but let me tell you, having a good ball weight makes this van tow absolutely beautifully. And this is the Hilltop Hotham. It's a 21 foot rear door semi off-road van. This is a club lounge version. There are in fact three versions of the Hotham. There's a Hotham Peak mid door. If you've seen the Grampian, it's a baby Grampian. Then you've got the Hotham 21 foot, which is effectively the same van as this, but without the club lounge. And then there's this one which has the club lounge in it. Uh, now I stayed in this one last night, very, very comfortable bed, like you would expect with uh, a van this size, no doubt about it, but lots of space inside there. No doubt about it though, the selling point is the size of that club lounge. Now we're gonna put a, a full detailed walk around video of those two vans that we bought for here as well. Um, if you wanna see more on Nim and Simon's, go follow them on their page as well. So Coastside Industries, that's on Instagram, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so um, go check them out. They've got some great content from the travels that they've been doing. Uh, that's kind of a wrap from us. I wanna thank you guys for coming along. It's been great to have you here. It's been a while since we've caught up, but always good to see you and see the van and see how it's going. I really appreciate your feedback. Um, that's kind of it from us. Make sure guys that you like, subscribe, follow. That's for not just for us, for, for everybody. Also want to thank Cam for being here and doing the cook up. That food last night was amazing. Um, but that's it. Look forward to seeing you guys soon. As always, happy camping.